<laughs> oh my god hello everyone it's mark the frilzinated representative from switzerland and i'm here as you can see in the background at plopsaland the pun and i just rode right to happiness It's and running. now you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Let's go. It's running a little slow, but honestly, it still slaps. It, it's so good. It deserves the hype, definitely. Like, all you heard about this ride being so good, it's true. This ride is amazing. I rode it in the most important seat locations and... Wow, I'm speechless. This ride is amazing. So, uh, now we're going over to the Heidi the Ride, the GCI. White Lightning Cologne here at Plopsaland the Pun and um, yeah, of course I'm gonna do POV so you might see some of them in the front ones in the back ones and honestly that ride is smoother than Woden and it's it's not the most extreme woody but it's so much fun like it has decent airtime a great first drop some fun turns it's overall a really fun woody like I, I didn't expect it to be this much fun I thought this would be an okay woody but it's honestly so much more fun than I expected now we're going over to Anubis. to talk about this ride real quick why does nobody talk about this ride this coaster is insane the first launch is even more intense than on Carajo I didn't thought that was possible but that launch oh my god that's so good and the overall like the coaster in general so intense such good airtime on the top head such good laterals on the drop from the top head and I got a blackout on the dive loop. Like this ride is 
so intense. Literally the most underrated coaster ever. Like this ride is so good. Oh my god. Let's get this over with. I just rode right to happiness. Front, back, second to back, and back again. And it's it's not running as fast as it would in the summer probably. But this ride is incredible, dude. Oh my god, like I don't even know what to say, like seriously, that's one awesome coaster. But let's just begin with this with this Jojo roll out of the station. Hang time, then the long. Crazy insane because you spin. The top hat, awesome airtime in the front if you go up, awesome airtime in the back if you go down. Uh, Jojo roll. Uh, Banana roll, kind of mediocre as of now. Uh, loop really forceful. Um, this turn into the second launch, kind of weak now because it goes over there really slow. And then this double inverting dive loop, that's so disorienting. And then these airtime humps at the end, wow. Ejector airtime on a mock product. Like, that ride is so good. Like, it's running slow. But it's still one awesome coaster and probably my new number one. Bye Plopsal! It's been four days since I was at Plopsal and the pun and I just found out that I forgot to film an outro so I'm gonna quickly make one in my room. So um, yeah, basically Ride to Happiness is an amazing coaster. It's mean my meanwhile my new number one coaster. This ride is so good. Mug Rides did everything correct with this coaster. Uh, it has airtime, it has forces, it has hang time. It's just overall really crazy and it did not even perform at its best. Like I was there in a winter when it's rather cold. Uh, so I imagine in the summer when it's fully warmed up and like hauling, it's gonna be even more insane. But even still in the colder temperatures, it still delivered like this, right? Deserves the hype. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed my time at Plopsal on the Pun. Really cool park, definitely worth returning to just alone for Ride to Happiness. But all the other coasters are good as well. Anubis the Ride, super underrated coaster. Heide Ride, uh, also very good. So um, yeah, that's uh, just a quick sum up and outro. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.